guys uh, welcome to tech design so in this tutorial i have taken one of the you know example of sheet metal bracket so i'm going to explain how we can you know model this uh, sheet metal uh, uh, l shape of bracket so let us uh, go into the sketcher environment in the sheet metal and then start with the uh, sketcher so i'll go to new and i'll just select a sheet metal over here and i'll just click ok so this will take you to the 3d workbench so i'll just need to go into sketcher environment and i'll select this sketch plane and i'll go into sketch so these are the these are the sketcher commands so already discussed in my sketcher tutorials so as you can see here we have in um, you know a sheet metal l bracket here l kind of thing and we also have a dimple on this uh, uh, you know uh, bracket so as you can see here in the this is the front view so we will just make this profile now as you can see here this is a profile with a 110 mm of a straight length and then you have it has an angle and also overall length of 340 mm so let us create this and uh, you will come to know how we can able to finish this so i'll just go to line and i'll start drawing a line here and then we have an elevator here so next can just uh, draw it roughly and later we can just uh, you know give the dimensions so that it will come into picture so as you can see here now 1 and 110 mm and 70 mm and this is 340 mm so let us give the dimensions so d is the you know uh, shortcut for dimension so this is 110 mm and let me give this as 70 and overall length is 340 okay just close this so now what I want to do is I have to make this as a collinear press C and uh, keep these two collinear and now we have a distance of uh, uh, 20 mm from this line so let me give 20 mm press D and go to this and uh, this is 20 mm and we also have an angle here as you can see here the angle is 140 so let me keep 140 on the both side so let us go to D dimensioning and select these two lines so you will have a dimension 140 angle so let me give the angle okay so and also we have an uh, you know radius here that is uh, 30 um, radius 30 mm and 40 mm so let me give fillet f is the shortcut so we can just give 30 mm for this and 40 mm here okay in the same way this is 40 mm and also this is 30 mm finish the sketch so we have we are all have all the dimensions here you can see the sketch is fully constrained so let us finish the sketch so we have a cross section over here so our cross section whatever the here uh, it is completely done now in the sketcher environment so we need to you know uh, give a counter flange for this so go to counter flange and uh, select this uh, whatever the flange we have and now we can see here there is an 100 mm of uh, overall length so let us give 100 mm so as you can see here this is an 100 mm so if you want to give symmetric value you can also give the symmetric value or else you can just give on the one direction so i'll just click finish so once you, you are done with that you can see here there is an one more extra portion here so from here it will be having a 200 mm so it, it means that from this end to this end it is 100 mm so let us create this 100 mm and 85 mm uh, you know um, the flange so what i will do is i'll just go to uh, tab here and this is a secondary tab so we have already discussed all these things in my previous tutorial so you can just go there and uh, check out all these uh, you know use all these uh, you know um, commands so this is 85 mm and uh, whatever the dimension here it is 100 mm so okay hello now i will just finish the sketch so as soon as you finish the sketch you will have this tab so click ok so now we have this uh, l kind of shape when we are left with some of the you know edge blends here so later i will just take up the edge blend so let me create in um, a dimple here so you can see the dimple uh, this dimple we need to create so before going to create a dimple uh, we should have an uh, you know coplanar plain uh, sheet metal in order to have a dimple so we need to make an unbend for this one so unbend is already uh, discussed in our channel so we need to go to unbend and uh, start selecting all these uh, bends to have uh, you know um, unbend section of uh, sheet metal component 
so as you can see here we have an unbent uh, uh, sheet metal so i'll just go to sketcher environment on this uh, surface so now what i will do is whatever the dimension we have for this dimple i'm just going to create that now so let me go to this uh, rectangle and uh, start giving the dimensions so this is uh, uh, 20 mm so how this is 20 mm i'll just tell you so now in this uh, AA section as you can see here AA section we have uh, 10 mm of uh, you know arc here so which will be uh, 20 mm of width for this uh, um, dimple so 20 mm is the width and then uh, there is a uh, distance between this to this so between these two there is a 40 mm of distance I guess yeah this is uh, 40 mm and uh, we have overall length of 245 mm so we need to provide that 245 mm length but this will change when um, you know uh, uh, when you rebend it so we need to adjust that later it is 245 so let me give 245 here okay yeah so then what we have is this is at uh, middle so let me give 50 mm from uh, uh, this center point to this edge so this will be 50 mm okay i guess all the dimensions are given so now what we have to do is we have to make a use of dimple so i'll just finish the sketch and uh, let me go to dimple here so this is a dimple command so we need to select this uh, you know um, rectangle so as soon as you select the rectangle so uh, we have a depth of 10 mm so as you can see here here is the depth so 10 mm is given so let me keep all these things as it is and we also have a rounding so uh, this uh, this rounding uh, is 3 mm I'll just show you where it is given and also this punch and uh, die radius is this is 5 mm and this is 10 mm okay so this 10 mm is given over here and this 5 mm is go given over here and a 3 mm radius is over here so as you can see here this is a 3 mm radius so I have just given all the dimensions so just click OK so as soon as you click OK you can see the dimple is generated but this dimple uh, we have to make a rebend for this so let us go to rebend here and start selecting all the faces that uh, we have given so these are the faces and I can just click OK so as soon as you click OK as you can see here this uh, whatever the dimple we have uh, it is generated on the uh, rebend section of uh, sheet metal as well so now we are left with uh, these corners so we can just give the corners uh, using this uh, break corner so just select these corners so what is the corner radius so we can just go to bend here and give 60 mm for this so this is 60 mm and then uh, we have 30 mm over here and uh, what about this one this is 25 mm so let us apply this and we also have a okay now we have a break over here uh, corner here around 25 mm so let us go to break corner and uh, give this as 25 and this as well 25 and now uh, we have this uh, 30 mm over here and i think uh, this is also 25 mm so let us give 25 mm on this side as well this is also 25 mm and this is also 25 mm so click apply and this is 30 mm so let us give 30 mm for this click ok so now uh, as you can see here our uh, sheet metal is almost completed and we are left with only these circles so in order to make it normal cut so we have to go to sketcher environment and uh, start creating those circles so 20 type so we can just give 20 mm diameter so go to circle and give 20 mm so here is one and here is one another one is at the here so now we have three circles we need to dimension uh, give the dimension for that as you can see here this is a 35 mm uh, between these two so let us give make it as a collinear so they should lie on the same line and go to dimension for D so this is 35 mm and close this and it should be at the center so let me give that center 
so I'll just draw a you know uh, line here. So this line should be on this. Sorry. So this line should be on this center point. So now let us make a um, concentric. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, symmetric. So go to symmetric, and this point, this point, should be this. Okay, this is now uh, you know symmetric. And we just need a dimension from this, uh, you know, uh, edge. So which is not given here. So let us assume whatever the dimension that is given here. So 25 mm. So I'll just go to dimensions and uh, select this from this edge. It should be 25 mm. So in the same way, I have to you know give the dimension for this as well. So this is 25 mm, and it should be at the center. So let us. Uh, Make a collinear between this point to this center point. So now all the dimensions are given. Okay, so let us finish. Though so these two constraints are because of this, uh, you know, uh, reference line. So just ignore this. Let us click finish and go to normal cutout and select this sketch, and we are done. So this is all about um, how we can make this, uh, you know, uh, example. This is very simple example. So in the um, Future, I will just going to take some complicated uh, examples. So only thing here is you need to make sure that this is this length is 245 mm. So this for 245 is given uh, when we have an unbent section. So we need to check what is the distance between this to this now uh, after bending, and we need to adjust that in the sketch. So by adjusting that, uh, you just need to you know make a target on 245 mm uh, dimple. So let's hide everything now. Uh, hide all and let us make a solid body so this is what we have the uh, given example guys so i hope you understand everything so if you have any doubts you can just comment in the section below so i'll try to answer thank you guys please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as share my videos thank you